it should be a secret to absolutely no one that I love soldering. I love putting together kits, uh, speed kits, leisure kits. I like to make mistakes when I make kits. It doesn't matter. I love soldering. A lot of people online say that soldering is super unhealthy. The fumes it lets off and let me just be clear, the smoke you see coming off is not actually lead vapors. Those are just uh, the rosin uh, evaporating away. Rosin is a natural product. Doesn't mean it's safe to breathe in, but it's not lead. Anyways, what I do is when I'm soldering, I usually blow out air to keep the smoke away from me. But like, is the smoke really that big of a deal? Well, banggood.com sent me this guy here to take a look at. This is an air quality monitoring device. It uses a PM 2.5 sensor. So that guy here. It has apparently a laser that spins around and um, the light that's diffracted by the particles inside will register and then it will pick it up here. It also has a temperature and humidity sensor. This is just like a DHT, but it is not a DHT. It is a an AM or an AV2120. It's very hard to read. But um, this thing is pretty cool. You have to let it sort of uh, get used to your environment. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes. After that, it starts checking. And as you can see right now, the air is pretty okay. There's very few particles per square meter. And so let me just bring in a random piece of copper. You might have seen this in a previous video. And my soldering iron and my solder. So let's just see if this thing can actually react to soldering fumes. So it'll take a long time to heat up because this is a big copper plane here. There we go. Oh, see, moderate. We're okay. We're okay. Uh oh. Getting pretty dangerous now. Oh, I think we're off the scale now. I'm not even done soldering. Yeah. So maybe the soldering fumes are a little worse than I thought. Now, of course, I blow it away. You know, I usually blow it away from my face. So I don't quite breathe it in. But this thing is quite useful. Uh, in fact, if I lived in uh, Western North America where there's firefighter, uh, fire forest fires every year, I probably want to pick one of these up. There's a link in the description if you want one. They're actually fairly affordable for the quality of display gives you and you can even hit this little button on the side and it gives you the counts so bigger than 10 i think that's 10 micron 5 micron 2.5 1 0 0.5 and 0 0.3 so it kind of tells you your the amount of stuff that it's been reading they make some of these in data logging and non-data logging but um this isn't enough let me check one of the strategies that some people use to keep solder fumes away from them and see if it works. This here is a standard computer fan. It's 120 mil. You get these fairly cheap these days, about four bucks on eBay, 10 bucks on Amazon. And I'm just powering it off my bench power supply. It's not running because I have the pins wrong. There we go. So that's just outputting some air. Now I'm going to point it towards me. It's going, to be, it's going to be blowing this way, but that's simply because the sensor is here. So the sensor would be where I would be in the equation normally, right? I would be uh, here and it would be blowing here. So if I'm here, it'd be blowing across this way. So the sensor would be my lungs basically. And let's see if we have any success. Now, don't forget that this is going to be cooling down my work on top of that. 
I'm going to hit the iron instead of the copper. Look at that. Might have to heat up the iron a little bit more. Four hundred and fifty degrees Celsius now on the iron. We've got more temperature, but not more heat, right? Because the tip is the same. It's blowing pretty hard. So we are going up in the thirties here. Having issues getting this uh, copper heat sink warm. Maybe I'll just try the iron itself. No, that's a lot more solder, but it seems to be not getting to the sensor. Like, obviously, it's up, but it's not like it used to be. So I would say that this strategy of having a fan blowing across your desk is more than adequate to lower the amount of smoke that you'll potentially breathe in, especially if you also breathe out while you solder. Thanks for watching.